after that? You've been bumped out in the Leinster game, did you? Uh, no, it's uh, sort of start of the last training week. We oh, picked right, up okay. a bit of a uh, strain, so uh, yeah. had to miss out. But no, I'm, uh, I'm on schedule to uh, mm. to make an appearance this weekend, hopefully. Great. Which is pretty tiny, I suppose, with John and, and Scott being away in, with Wales. Yeah, it is, but uh, I think uh, last week uh, up in Edinburgh, we yeah. showed that we've got plenty of uh, able deputies, in, if yeah. you want to call them that, but uh, mm. I think it's shown some good uh, strength and depth in the midfield now, so it's just pleasing, moving, especially moving into a period where we lose two of our big players. Yeah. I mean, in the past, losing 12, 13, 14 players have had a massive impact here. I mean, uh, Mark has said, Simon has said, that we feel more, more than happy with the, with the depth in the squad here. Is that is that the feeling in the squad that you can you can ride these these uh, you know, absentees? Yeah, I think so. It's, like I said, there's a lot of competition, and uh, I think the difference between some of our squad members and internationals is very little. And uh, you know, there's people been uh, eagerly waiting for their chance and probably yeah. haven't haven't got it over the last month or so with uh, Heineken Cup and things. And I think that'll only be positive, and hopefully we'll see that reflecting on their performances on the weekend. Talking about the Heineken Cup, have you watched that, uh, that try a few times back? <laughs> <laughs> no, to be honest, I don't, uh, I don't like to dwell too much on things. It was uh, nice at the time, but yeah. I think I would have swapped it for a, a victory, which we probably, you know, we needed really to yeah. give ourselves, you know, a, a chance of progressing. We're up against yeah. it uh, big time, I think. But um, you know, I said it was nice to score, but definitely would have swapped it for a victory. Yeah, but the skin Brian O'Driscoll. That's quite nice, isn't it? Uh, it's just nice for me to be doing it rather than him skinning me. If, uh, I think if we added it up, he still comes out on top. But uh, it's great to play against those players, and yeah. that's what European rugby provides. And to get an opportunity to play against them is uh, fantastic. And I learn so much every game playing against people like you know Darcy and O'Driscoll and people of that calibre. So it's uh, it's great to, uh, to to be able to you know put some in put back into uh, you know, my performance side of things. In terms of your confidence as a player, though, you're playing it down. It, it, it must, you know, next time you see a player in front of you, you go for the outside break, you must be thinking, well, it's good enough for a drizzle. Well, definitely going to be good enough for so-and-so. Um, yeah, I, you know, I try and, it's, 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 like you said, it's such different, uh, you're talking about the differences between someone like Brian O'Driscoll and another uh, centre being very little, it's just that those little one percenters which he seems to do and he has done throughout his career best, it, uh, it leads him on top as one of the best 13s probably in the world, but uh, it's never easy to do that and, uh, you know, t to do it to O'Driscoll or to any other player would you know, it would still be it would still be great, but I'm not playing it down. It's obviously nice to to get a try, but like I said, it's that's what everyone aims to do against every opponent, really. So it was just nice the fact that it was one where it was got a little bit more, you know, name to himself. When you play a team at Zebra at home, obviously the expectation is it should be a five point bank. Uh, is that difficult as a squad to deal with when you go into a game like that? I don't think it's difficult. I think it's you. You could only make it difficult if you think that it, you think yeah, that way, and right. that's certainly not the way we think. And uh, I'm under no illusions that uh, this game this weekend is going to be yeah. really tough. Uh, people see that Zebra as a side that uh, you know that like you said, it's the five point bankers, but that's certainly not the case. They have got some very very good players in their squad, yeah. and you know they're starting to come together with their performances. And yeah. at the end of the day, someone's going to come a cropper, and we need to make sure this weekend is yeah. not us. And I think we'll do everything possible in our preparations to make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah. That's the danger, isn't it? You know, is that complacency going into a game like that? It is. Yeah, it's one thing that uh, fortunately we 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 don't suffer with is complacency. Right. You know, if, if we don't perform, it's not through la uh, it's through complacency. Uh, yeah. So like I said, we'll try everything that we do every other week. We'll prepare the same as we do every other week. We'll study them in as much depth as we do every other week and yeah. hopefully that will <coughs> take its course and provide us with uh, a victory which we you know, we so need to back up for obviously what the lads did out in Edinburgh last week. Yeah, I mean, because the league now approaching the halfway stage, if you can stick, stay there at the second spot or even top, you know, it puts you in a good position, doesn't it, going in, uh, into December and what, what goes after that. Yeah, it does, you know. It, you need to win. You need to win your home games yeah. and pick up uh, points away. Yeah. And the, w the ones you don't win, you need to be. You need to come close with bonus points to, to be competitive at the end of the season. You know we've narrowly missed out a couple of yeah. times, 
and we, we see this again as a great opportunity but that means making sure we take care of games that, well all home games regardless of the opposition and surely this this will be the first in our sort of sights moving forward was there a sense of relief more than anything last weekend in Edinburgh having been in control for a large part of that yeah it was a sense of relief but a bit of frustration as well I yeah. think amongst the players it was um, more disappointing that we got ourselves in that situation um, and yeah. From down to our errors and sort of referee decisions, um, yeah. which we're going to get, and it, for some reason it feels like it's going against us quite mm. often more than uh, more often than not. Is that difficult then to keep uh, frustrations, uh, stop them boiling over in a way? Because you could see, you know, when Gareth gets in the dead second half and things weren't going your way. Yeah, when, when you look back and you you know sixteen penalties to three, yeah. some, um, you do question it sometimes. And yeah. as a player, as a team, it's quite difficult then because you've got yeah. your sort of priorities which you're trying to put on yeah. the field and you've got to be so careful because you know the referee's going to do yeah. something and and like it showed up, up in Edinburgh although we did score the four tries to one yeah. it was uh, it was just kept, kept ticking the board over which uh, kept them in the game right until death yeah, and, and you can see this season obviously you put a lot of work into the into the breakdown and, and putting bodies in the breakdown it's, it's a fine line isn't it for, for it is a fi- yeah it is a fine line and like you said you you Simon's been very focused in the contact area and yeah. it is a 50-50 call at the end of the day and some yeah. games are going to come up and some they don't so yeah. it is a fine line like you said but you as a player you've got to, you've got to take control of that on the, get, yeah. on the day and that's your decision and if you, if you, get it, if you win the ball then yeah. everyone's applauding you if you lose the ball then everyone's yeah. cursing you Three players away with Wales have seen the back row opportunities for the next month or so yeah, I think I think it's great opportunities. Um, like Gareth mentioned earlier on, yeah. for us players now knowing these boys have gone away, yeah. we've been a chin and they've been a chin as well. So um, yeah. you know, come Saturday is a it's a performance that you need to bring to yourself and uh, to perform as a team then. Yeah. And Zebra, obviously there there was three three all against Munster up until half time last weekend. So you know they've got something there. Haven't they? Of course they have, and uh, you know you can watch every game and they're competing in every game. Unfortunate they have come on the loss of, mo- of all the games so far, but mm. you know they're a difficult side. At the end of the day, they got some quality players, and um, you know we know the challenge ahead of us. There's no complacency in this squad. Yeah. Um, it's more of a challenge for us as players to perform because yeah. um, you never know when you're going to put that jersey on again, and mm. there'll be no different come Saturday that we we need to put a performance in to get that result. Yeah. Is patience going to be the key then on the weekend? To almost to grind them down a bit. Yeah, I think I think that's in every case. Yeah. Same, you, you know, you got we're going to hopefully take our chances when they come. But you know, as long as we sort of keep that board ticking, then yeah. uh, you know, hopefully at the end of the eighty minutes, the result will be our in our favour. So, yeah, yeah it, it is going to be a chat. We're not going to try and run everything. We like you said, we we've got a, a tactic going into the game. So, yeah. you know, if we stick to our game plan, uh, hopefully it'll uh, pay off. Well, the night is next week. We get a regular game. Yeah, so definitely. So I, we should be in for the December matches. Exeter. Well, fingers crossed. Yeah. You know, I don't know. If, I don't look that far ahead. No. I'm taking one week at a time. But um, as far as playing is concerned, I'm just looking look forward to playing each week and hopefully just taking my opportunities. Because um, you know, if you just end up perform that little bit, then um, you know you could be uh, struggling for the following week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you got the options in the back row, John? Because obviously, it's losing three players and. It seems the personnel doesn't a huge amount in the back. Yeah, no, it is it is quite a lot, obviously. But um, you know, the likes of myself, Kira, yeah. and, and Thomas coming in as well. Now yeah. you've got Richie Poo, Dan Thomas, Thomas Craig yeah. Price. You yeah. know, the, these are players who are itching to play, and um, yeah. you know, we, we we train weekly. To, you know, we're obviously training every day with each other. Yeah. So they're pushing for a place. So again, yeah. Yeah. just because the players have gone to the Welsh squad. Yeah. There's no complacency because you know there's uh, there's another set of people yeah. buying their time as well. And and Thomas and the the Valhaus has mentioned earlier. Is he, when he's come in, it's, it's, is it difficult to bring the South Africans and Argentinians? It's all the new players seem to be coming every week. Yeah, almost. no, there was um, it was a bit bit disruptive to begin with. But in yeah. fairness, those boys have put their yeah. hands up. They, yeah. they, they no problem in communication, and you know, I mean, yeah. they, they they're more than happy to sit down with you and. Yeah. They listen to and you know yeah. they take on board what they've had to do and yeah. in fairness they've learned pretty quickly. Yeah, it's almost a new dynamic to the Scarlet Squad. Yeah, always, no, definitely. It's obviously signing. Yeah, game, it especially was. Especially up front, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely, and uh, it's great to see and yeah. you know they bring their own experience as well, yeah. which they they sat down and they you know they're more yeah. than happy to sort of speak to us as well and yeah. put across their opinion. So um, 
It has changed, but they, they've learned quickly and they've got on board. So, so, so far, so good. I think. Boys learning Afrikaans now. Or? No, they they have a little chat amongst <laughs> themselves, just the two of them. Yeah. But uh, they're picking up on one or two things, especially when it's to the coaches <laughs> under the blue line. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>